Hey YouTube and Honda owners, in this video I just wanted to give you guys a quick demo and some brief information um, of how I was able to replace the factory car stereo and retain the steering wheel controls and a lot of the car functions. So this right here as you guys can see is a Kenwood Exelon uh, double din head unit. This comes with Apple CarPlay, uh, HD radio and um, also you can listen to music, CDs, and uh, watch DVDs. As you can see right there, you can just click this and uh, load up your DVDs in there. So, um, I purchased this head unit on a crutch field and it comes with this module called the Access. I know there's another one out there called the um, uh, iDatalink, something like that, and I think it works also. I'm not 100% sure, but this was the product that was recommended. So, as you guys can see, um, the the factory stereo, you know, it comes with that knob where you can control a lot of the stuff up there, like changing the time and a lot of the car um, functions, like you know, door locks and stuff like that. So now, as you guys can see over here, I can change. If I press over here, the volume goes up. You see that? Um, and also, if I press the source button, it also changes the source. You can see, um, you can hear that, and you can see it right there. It changes to different functions. I'm not pressing anything over here, I'm just pressing this button over here, like that. And then um, also, this button right here, if I press this and you look at the screen, watch me press that, you can see it, it gives me these uh, options up here like vehicle settings, information, so if I click information, you know, I can change the, the clock and stuff like that, um, like down here. So you can change the clock, change the time, stuff like that so it's really cool um, and also one of the important ones is the um, camera settings as well you can see you can do that but yeah so that's really useful because um, I know in the when the car first came out there wasn't any kind of uh, modules or um, uh, programs that allowed us to do this so this is really nice you can see all these uh, these functions up here this is the uh, like the OEM car functions that they put in so that's useful and then let me show you guys the Apple CarPlay um, this little red clock right here is because I'm recording the video right now but yeah you can see all the apps music phone podcasts uh, now playing and then I slide over here you can see all the other apps that I currently have on my phone that's um, compatible with Apple CarPlay so if the, the app is compatible with Apple CarPlay, it will actually show up here, so it's really cool. Uh, the Radio.com app is pretty cool because um, if you use that, you can actually listen to other radio channels that's not available in your um, area, so that's useful. And then uh, as you guys can see, a lot of the music apps, so Spotify, Amazon Music also works. Uh, the audio books, um, it's good, podcast good, and you can actually edit this screen right here to position where you want the um, apps to be. And then uh, right there, Maps, Google Maps, Waze. Before Apple made an update, Waze was not available. It was only Maps or Google Maps. But now the Waze app is really good because you can actually, um, as you guys know, you, you can report the real-time traffic or any kind of like notification on the Waze app. And it was a little bit harder on the phone um, versus doing it here. It's like really big and it's actually more safe too um, all right guys thank you guys for watching i hope i was able to answer some of you guys' questions if you guys own a ninth gen honda accord and was considering replacing the factory stereo to get apple carplay and uh, retain the steering wheel controls and a lot of the functions so it is possible i was able to do it and everything works and i'm really satisfied um, overall um, apple carplay is super useful and your daily driving especially having the maps because you don't actually need to get like a stereo that has navigation I think the Apple CarPlay using the iPhone apps or if you have um, the Android Auto this also works and it's super useful so yeah I'll have the links to all of the items that's required um, to be able to do this in my description below the same exact unit I was able to get um, I think the model I have is now discontinued but there is a newer one exactly the same that's available um, that you can get online all right guys thank you guys for watching make sure you guys like comment and subscribe below peace out